Peppa's house. Back home. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty. She must be pretty hungry. Why don't we go and get some food so we can fill the bowl? I'm planting seeds so that new plants will grow in the garden. Do you want to help me? Yes, please. What do we have to do? Well, for starters, pick one of the plants in the garden and grab a seed from it. Any plant? Yes, Peppa. Whichever you prefer. Mm. But I don't know which one to pick. I know. Why don't you help me pick? Help Pepper and Grandpa grow a new plant in the garden. Go to one of the plants and pick up a seed. Did you grab a seed? Well done. Now come back and plant it here. First, Make a little hole. Now put the seed in. Cover it with earth and water it. Fantastic! Now a new plant will grow here. Will it take a long time, Grandpa? Oh, yes. Plants grow very slowly. Make sure to come back every once in a while to see how much the plant has grown. Good job. You have planted a new seed in Grandpa's garden. Make sure to come back here every once in a while to see the plants grow. Oh, that is called compost. It's a special muck that I use to fertilize the veggies. 
Be careful, though. It's very smelly. What does fertilize mean, Grandpa? It means it will help them grow bigger and be even more delicious. Why don't you try putting some in this patch of land? We could go and help Grandpa Pig in the garden. Grandpa's house. This is my Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden and Granny takes care of the chickens. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. have arrived. But, Grandpa, Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach. So instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh, we wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. That's right. When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Lily, what kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools and put what you find in the bucket? Take a look in the rock pools on the beach and show Granny and Grandpa Pig the things you find. It's a coin. Perhaps it once belonged to a pirate. Whoa! I love pirates. Are you enjoying your time with Granny and Grandpa Pig? Yes, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Now how about we find a spot on the sand to sit down? This place seems like a nice spot. Sandcastles. <laughs> 
Wait a minute. You can't go in like this. Oh, all right. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you will see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. <gasps> the moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Whee! Try it out. Strap in and jump up. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! <laughs> well, hello, 
little bird. What are you doing here? Has it come to sing a song to us? I don't know. Have you, little bird? Chirp, chirp. Goodbye, little bird. Come visit us soon. Peppa's house. Back home. Hello there. You two seem to be having loads of fun together. Ooh, a butterfly! It's so pretty. Let's follow it. Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no, there's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean.
What a lovely spot for camping! Ah, Peppa! I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa's, Peppa's, Peppa's friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children. Now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Pepper and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks. Got one. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? job. Now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? <music> Get around, children. Who wants to hear a song? Me! 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 me. me. Okay, then. a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic. Basket. Here's the basket. It smells delicious. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops. I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job. You've brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. 
this goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy! Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? But it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy! We have to give them some food! Oh, all right. There you go, ducks. I'm full! Well, at least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit <laughs> ah, there you are. This is my room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. Hello there. What are you two up to in here? Mummy, Mummy! We're playing with the toys in my basket. I think George would like to play with you too. Impossible. George! I'm busy with my new friend. Ooh. Peppa, I'm sure you can all play together, the three of you. Why don't you play tag? How do you play tag? You have to chase each other, and when you catch someone, they're it. OK. You're it. <laughs> OK, then. I'll leave you to it.
Hello there. You two seem to be having loads of fun together. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. <laughs> well, hello, little bird. What are you doing? I don't know. Have you, little bird? Chirp, chirp. Goodbye, little bird. Come visit us soon. wants to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. I think these will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Miss 
rabbit will give us geese to go down the mountain. I think these will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> If you get too cold, this rabbit will take us back in the balloon. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. City, a place to explore and have fun, and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, oh, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City! Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes! Have you come to explore? Yes, yes! You come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day. Um, yes? Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun. Remember to visit the whole park. There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see. All right then, run along children, have fun. I think I'll skip this one. Okay. Ready? Here we go! Again, again! 
I'll definitely skip the second round. friend has been with us for quite some time now. Yes, quite some time indeed. And you've been to so many places together. You've been to our house. <sighs> and you've been to our house. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Of course. We even went to the beach together. We found many things in the rock pool. Rock pool! Rock pool! And to the forest. You helped poor Tiddles the tortoise in the playground. Hooray! And we went all the way up Snowy Mountain. I took you there. And to the museum. Did you enjoy our trip to the moon? I always do. I've been seeing you running around the town for some time now. It's always nice to see new faces. <laughs> we got a good view of the whole town from Windy Castle too. What a lovely view it was. And I'm happy to have met you now that you've come here to Potato City. Well, I've had a lot of fun, thanks to you. You're my friend forever. Friend forever. Friend forever. <laughs> 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 oh.